Hey guys, Asia again with yet another Boxy Charm video. I actually filmed this video like two days ago, but I didn't talk in it. I kind of just did my makeup and yeah. So I had to do part two where I actually talk about the product. I pretty much just did like a get, get ready with me, but I kind of need to talk about this stuff. So yeah. That's what I'm doing now. Is the first box for 2018. And this is the Rock and Roll Soul box. And you'll notice I have like different makeup on now and from the first video, which I'm gonna insert clips of me actually using the products in this video. But yeah, I today I used the same makeup um, from the box. Uh, it's just a different look than from what I did the other day. So yeah, I want to test out more of the product. So anyway, let's get into it. First, I use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. And that is this stuff. And this delivers a natural radiant glow while blurring pores and imperfections for a beautifully illuminated flawless complexion. And this is for all skin types. And this is $38. Hmm. It doesn't tell you if this stuff is full size or not anymore. I remember it used to. I'm going to assume this is full size. Because it seems like it. This is one fluid ounce. And it's an illuminating primer. Apply to clean moisture skin. Use alone for it. A natural bounce of light on the skin or under makeup to prep the skin for flawless application a.m. and p.m. okay so I was a little bit thrown off by the color of this because it's like a tan sort of color if you can see that and I was afraid it was gonna make my makeup look kind of ashy and lighter than what it actually is but it did not. It dried pretty quickly. Like it's one of those primers that you have to pat into the skin or else it'll like ball up and you know create little balls on your face. But it is a mattifying primer in my opinion. It's a mattifying primer. It's based on how it dried and how quickly it dried. So yeah, you really want to pat this in the skin. I honestly thought it would be like a lotion because it said illuminizing primer. And that was going to give you like a natural glow. I didn't notice the glow or anything. I would honestly have to use this as like a wear test. To see if I noticed the glow or anything or how it works. But I like that it's mattifying and that it dried really quickly. And my makeup looked good with it. We have the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil for $24. And that is this. And it's a dual ended eyebrow pencil and this is in what color is this it doesn't say universal taupe since when is taupe universal first of all so this is the shade I don't know if you can see that but that's not universal that is not universal. It's not a bad pencil. I will probably use this just to outline my eyebrows. I did use it in the video to fill them in, to try to fill them in, but it's a little too light. I, this is not universal. I don't know. I don't see this as being universal. I don't see people with blonde hair being able to use this. Or people with extremely dark hair, black hair, being able to use this either. Because I like my eyebrows like on the edge of dark brown and black. Not so black that they look fake, but dark enough that it looks like actual hair. I don't want you to see gaps in my eyebrows. And yeah, I did notice some gaps with this. So I did go in with my Tarte um, Brow Pomade, which is in dark brown, to fill in after using this. Um, does it say? Developed with plastic surgeons, best selling, award winning vitamins A, B, 5, C, E, 
It gives you your most beautiful natural looking brows, even if you have none at all. And it's universal transforming shade. Adjust to all hair colors based on pressure. It's exclusive oval tip mimics the look of real hair and it includes a built-in grooming spoolie brush for polished perfection. Okay. Hmm. I didn't notice any changes. I don't know. I'll try it out again. But it kind of just stayed the same shade. In my opinion, it stayed the same shade. I guess it gets a little darker the more pressure you put on it but I like that it does twist up and you can twist it back down because with some pencils you cannot twist it back down but I do like that but yeah like I said I will use this to outline my eyebrows and then fill them in with the pomade which is nice so next I used the Crown Pro Glam Metals palette, which is like the heart of the box because it is the Glam Metals Crown eyeshadow palette, and it has a guitar as a mirror in all these rock star shades. So yeah. So the other day I did a gold look using Rebel, and today I did this blue silver look using heavy metal so yeah I did really like this it is really really pigmented I did swatch all the colors and I'll insert that as well but it's really pigmented and I really really like this and I honestly wanted to use more of the shades that's why I did a different look today I could have just done the same one I did um, the other day but I wanted to try out more of the shades and I did notice that heavy metal like a uh, rubble there was some of uh, a little bit of fallout on my cheeks and stuff but heavy metal I didn't notice any fallout at all so that was nice but yeah these shades are awesome yeah I love that and I love this little mirror that's so cute it's really creative and they are very very blendable and this was $25 Next we have the Pure, the Complexion Authority Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette. And these, this retails for $34. All on the glow. This retails for $34. Yeah. And this is the palette. And this has a mirror as well, which is really, really nice. I actually use this while putting on my makeup and I love the Neapolitan S colors I love that it's pretty cool um, the other day I used the bronze shade today I used the lighter shade and I also used a bit of the pink on top of my blush just to kind of give it a little bit of a pop so I thought that was really cool I've never seen like a, a pinky well I don't I don't think I have a pinky highlighter 
I don't think so. I think I just have like golds and lighter shades. But anyway, this is an on the go highlighter, bronzer, and blush palette with three skin perfecting powders to create an effortless and sun kissed glow on every skin tone, featuring purest fan favorites, afterglow, and mineral glow, along with a new blush shade, blushing glow. Throw this, throw this in your bag, and you're ready to go. <laughs> That's cute. But this is so cool. I love this. And this is blushing glow, afterglow. Nope. Blushing glow, afterglow, and mineral glow. That's cute. And this is 0.4 ounces. And like I said, it retails for $34. And you can definitely just throw this in your purse and be on the go. And these are extremely pigmented and just so pretty that I did I did swatch these um, in the other video, but I just want to do it again. Because that, like, that's so cool. I love that. Very, very pigmented. Like, I really didn't have to do much. What I was putting these on, I kind of just dipped my brush in there. And it just, like, went right on. So I love this. It's awesome. It's one of my favorites. Like I really don't have to buy highlighters or blushes or anything because you know usually BoxyCharm has a highlighter in there. It's, it usually has a highlighter in the box for like the last few boxes I think. And if not this month then you know probably the next month. So that's cool. You can look forward to that. Which I am not complaining about. I was honestly gonna buy some highlighters. I did buy one, the Laura Geller one, just because I've been looking at it for a while. But honestly, Boxy Charms highlighters are like surpass anything I've bought. And you already know. They're gonna give you a highlighter. But anyway, the last thing we got in the box is the Girl Lactic Matte Lip Paint. And I really like their lip products. They have been in the box before as well. And this retails for $23. And this is 0.25 fluid ounces. And this is in the color Posh. And this is one of the original liquid lipstick formulas that is still true to its words. It's lightweight, long wearing, non-cracking, and won't settle. For better application, do not apply a lip balm or lip primer before application. Let me look because I don't have a lip balm or lip primer or anything on right now. And this isn't the true color of this. I did use a lip liner because I did use this the other day, like I said with everything else. And it was a little light for me. So I did use this lip liner in Roach. And I kind of just put it around my lips to outline my lips and then rub my lips together. But anyway, that's what Roach looks like. You can see that. And that is Posh. But yeah, it was a little lighter than I would have liked. But it is really nice. It is very, very nice. But yeah, I think more of the true color is like in the middle but I just I really wanted it to be just a little bit darker but yeah the truer color of it is like the middle of my lips as you know the top of my lip is darker than the bottom of my lip so yeah but it's really really nice it's not cracking and it's very very comfortable which and it is a mattifying lipstick so that is always nice to find a comfortable mattifying lipstick. And La Girl Lactic does have really good products. Like I said, they've been in the box before and I've never, I don't think I've ever disliked their products. But yeah, so that is everything that came in the box this month. Um, let me know what you think, if you've tried this stuff, how do you like it, what are your thoughts on it. I told you what I thought, I want to know what you thought. But yeah, like I said, Boxy Charm is just getting better and better, honestly. I don't know, I think it's the more popular it's getting, it's just, it's getting better and better. And it's helping 
other companies like get out there because I bought stuff from a lot of these brands after they've been in BoxyCharm just because I wanted to check them out more. So yeah. And I do really like this. I'm going to try this tomorrow on a work day to see how it actually holds up. I might just put it like on Snapchat or something. But yeah. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.